Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa says he will quadruple the current pensions of police retirees if he becomes president. De La Rosa was addressing complaints of senior cops who fear they would be left behind by the Duterte administration. But the PNP chief later says he was only kidding. De La Rosa says he is doing his best to seek higher pay, not only for the senior policemen, but for all members of the police force. He says all cops with a police officer one rank will receive double the amount of their current salary by January 2018, or from 14,834 pesos to 29,668 pesos. De La Rosa says, quote, for those with PO2 rank or higher, the increase is huge, but not 100%. Theirs will not double but it's on the way. De La Rosa is apparently referring to the 40 billion peso allotment in the national budget to increase the salary of uniformed personnel nationwide. The House of Representatives has approved the 2018 budget, while it is still being debated in the Senate. The Dangerous Drugs Board on Monday says it will adopt a new battle plan for the Duterte administration's war on drugs. The DDB, in its Love Life Fight Drugs campaign, says it will target the demand for the illegal substances instead of targeting dealers. It says it will use a communal approach, which recognizes the drug problem as both social and psychological. DDB Chairman Dionisio Santiago says, quote, It is about the life of a drug user who needs help to free himself or herself from drug dependence. It is about protecting the life of the people against the threats of drugs. The campaign has been sent to President Rodrigo Duterte for approval. Santiago says the campaign will have preventive education, advocacy, and civic awareness programs that will involve the Health Department, Interior Department, and the Education Department. The Supreme Court, acting as the Presidential Electoral Tribunal, rules the Commission on Elections must pay for the storage fees of election materials kept in foreign posts. The SE denies the Comelec's petition requesting that the storage fees be shouldered instead by former Senator Bongbong Marcos. Marcos filed an electoral protest against Vice President Lenny Robredo. The storage fees for the election materials kept in New York and Hong Kong alone have reached over 4.5 million pesos. Komalek wanted Marcos to pay for the fees, saying they could not ship the ballot boxes due to a precautionary protective order the PET issued in August. The PPO, which Marcos requested for, sought to direct the Komalek to preserve and safeguard the integrity of all ballot boxes. But the SE said the PPO does not prohibit Komalek from transferring the election materials to Komalek's main office in Manila. <laughs> University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Civil Law Dean Nilo Divina denies he met with Horacio Castillo III five days before the Aegis Juris Fraternity initiation rites. Divina, in his counter-affidavit filed before the Justice Department, denies any liability in the hazing death of Castillo. Castillo's parents earlier filed a complaint against Divina for murder and violation of the anti-hazing law. Castillo supposedly paid a courtesy call on Divina as a neophyte of the Aegis Juris Fraternity. Divina submits copies of CCTV footage from his law firm, the Divina Law Firm, that he said would prove Castillo did not meet with him on September 12. Divina is a member of Aegis Juris. But he says he prohibited organizations at the USD Faculty of Civil Law, such as Aegis Juris, from recruiting freshmen. <music> President Rodrigo Duterte is back in Japan for an official visit. This is Duterte's second visit to Japan as Philippine president. Duterte is accompanied by several cabinet members, his partner Hanulet Avencena, and their daughter Veronica. This is also the first official foreign trip joined by Kabayan Representative Harry Roque after Duterte announced his appointment as presidential spokesman. Duterte is set to have a bilateral meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on Monday. Duterte calls Japan the Philippines' true friend, partly for their timely assistance in addressing the threat of terrorism and violent extremism. The two leaders are set to talk about the growing threat of North Korea's nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm.